a one seed, Omaha as a three. So this game is all about the trophy, at least for these two teams. We'll talk about the ripple effects as this game goes along for what could happen to Colorado College and UMass. But for now, sit back and enjoy as these two outstanding programs square off for the right to be called champions. It is Omaha, the five putting some other lines together, and then they get Sibrian back, which has been great for him. Both of these teams have established tremendous third lines through some injuries that they have dealt with in the second half of the season. Well, the fact the Pios can roll out, Kieran Sibrian, who's become one of the better face-off takers in this conference, Rieger Lorenz, who's a second-round draft pick, and Jared Wright, who's a fifth-round pick, and can absolutely fly. If that's your third line, you're in pretty good shape. Proctor's shot, deflected, and back home! To jar a puck loose, throw a puck to the front of the net, it bounces around, Davis can't find it. In the open, the one thing that we said about Omaha that is a huge defining character. And Omaha is real good at that north-south thing, especially the north. We'll talk a little bit more about how they go south in a few minutes. That's a great tease. <laughs> <laughs> 21 years in, you learn something. <laughs> This is Thompson now, losing out. Sullivan setting things back up to Victor Mancini. They try to give and go that time, and it creates the opportunity for the Pios. Matica springing Webster, the captain, driving in, and finds the back of the net! McCain Webster! Second goal in as many nights at the X, and we are level early in the seconds! started just inside the Omaha blue line with a short pass to Mancini. It was a little bit of a give and go, but the pass was in Mancini's feet. And then Denver took advantage of it, and they managed to sneak one. Mancini tracked back pretty well, but it all started with a pass into the skates of a big play. Joe LeMay will track back the Capitals draft pick. He and Jacob Gavin, both members of the all-rookie team last year in defense for the Mavericks. Here's Slipik now. The BC native will try and leave it for Bust. Broken up well by Boston Buckberger. LeMay to Slipik again. Well, it's about keeping your game simple. Like, that's a play where Slipik, throw the puck to the front of the net and let the Cavalry go charge. Don't throw it backwards and allow Denver to feed into their speed. McCain Webster! Going back to my point, don't allow another team to create offense. So when Omaha attacked the zone a second ago, they tried to drop pass and a long one, and Denver was able to turn it over. They never gave the puck back, and Webster, with a seeing eye puck, throws it to the front of the net and gets one. Buckberger pulls up. Managed to put the puck back. The coverage here is pretty good. This thing just found an opening. We had a stretch of two or three years in a row where the last team in ran the table straight through to the end. Well, we see our team in this conference do it in 2018. That was Minnesota Duluth for sure. Yale did it. Penalty coming now. Another delayed call against the Mavericks. Davis off. Divine. Six on five for the nine-time national champs. Divine the leaf, Manica! Nothing that Cozy can do about it! Miko Manica's third of the weekend! Three to one, Denver! And they can smell it now! And the kick in the shorts is Omaha's gonna have to serve the penalty. What a rush by Denver, a little drop pass, then a little drop pass, and Matica, who's delivering the net, is as good as anybody's. Once again, 
Z Booyam leads the rush. Divine draws some coverage. Madigan comes late. He's calling for the puck. Until they get possession and then grab him. Simon Lycozy looking on his team down by two. Denver able to control the faceoff. Still eight seconds left on the Sullivan penalty. Oh, William should have just got nailed for interference, but that's a whole other story. See William able to gain the zone. Now Sullivan out of the box. They were just coincidental penalties, so it's five on five right now. Right, throwing one in front. Lorenz, they're to bang it home. And this trophy's heading to the Mile High City. You got to give Denver all the credit in the world. They won this game by how well they defended. And they managed to score a couple of timely goals. And Lorenz steps in and pops a quick pass to the front of the net. Pass like Coetzee, who has been good tonight, and that puck just dribbles over the goal line. Lorenz gets just... Bloomington native throws it in front. Mavericks can take it away. Such a great run in this tournament for Omaha this year. But it will be the Denver Pioneers for the third time. Champions of the NCHC Frozen Faceoff. DU on top of the mountain once again in 2024. Happy group of pioneers. It's part of the process that they set out for themselves early on in the season. Second youngest team in college hockey and they wind up winning the playoff championship and as tough a conference as there is in the NCAA. It was a really good run by Omaha to get here to the championship game. First of all, they get to the Frozen Four for the first time. The patriarch of their program, Mike Kemp, is retail Energy Center public address announcer, Jim Carroll for the trophy presentation. Please turn your attention to center ice for our awards presentation. And on the ice surface is NCHC Commissioner Heather Weems. Let's congratulate Denver and Omaha for entertaining us with an exciting championship game. We would now like to announce the NCHC Tournament Most Outstanding Player. With an amazing NCHC Frozen Faceoff weekend, with three goals, please congratulate from Denver, number six, McCade Webster, as our tournament most outstanding player. Now please welcome NCHC Commissioner Heather Williams to present the NCHC Tournament Championship Trophy to Denver. On behalf of the NCHC, our Board of Directors, Athletics Council, and member institutions, congratulations to the University of Denver for winning the NCHC Frozen Faceoff for the third time. The championship between Denver and Omaha caps a terrific tournament and a wonderful hockey season for the NCHC. I want to especially acknowledge our student athletes, who show up every weekend for battle. And finally, to our fans and supporters, thank you for making the NCHC the best place to play college hockey. And now, please join me in congratulating Captain Kate McWebster, Kate Webster and the Denver Pioneers for their championship performance. McCade Webster, the senior from St. Louis. Two goals tonight, one last night in the semis, able to lift that trophy. 
the third pioneer captain to do so in the 10 editions of this tournament. They join the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs as the only program to have won three now in this young conference's history. A big step for this team. Only two seniors on this group, 11 freshmen. David Carl just said it, winning tournaments like this can make a huge difference in the growth and maturity of this team as they move forward. goal tonight they find a way in the end to get the job done